try to do as much dry farming as possible. Now the drought, of course, made us not really have that choice in, in some regard. I mean, we've always been able to irrigate um, when we had to, but primarily we like to dry farm. Like the, there's a Zinfandel that we have that's planted across the road in our Paso Vista vineyard, and we dry farm that 100%. But in that same vineyard is Petit, uh, Petit Verdot and some Tempranillo, and those require some irrigation throughout the year. But yeah, that, that uh, Zinfandel does not get irrigated. How would the grapes act differently if you irrigated? Um, for those, some varietals are better dry farmed than others. They react better, they can handle it better. You get, when you, when you irrigate too much, you're going to get a, you'll get big, plump, juicy grapes, but they'll be kind of what we call flabby kind of full of water and not the intense concentration of the fruit, of the juice and the, the, the uh, flavor that you want. So when you dry farm, you make them suffer a bit. And I mean, you'll still get beautiful clusters for the most part, um, but you know, they're gonna be more concentrated. The fruit's gonna be more concentrated. The juice is gonna be deeper and more concentrated. So, so that's kind of the aspect behind dry farming. Okay.